Hi, you're watching Investor Insights and in this video I just want to discuss um, Europe a little bit. I um, found out yesterday that Europe is out of recession. I should be having streamers and balloons and party hats but the reality is that it really hasn't. Now, they want to go technical, so let's go technical. A recession is two quarters of ne negative growth. Now, obviously, these guys have been in something that's much more depressing than a recession because this has lasted since 2011, so that's what, about eight quarters odd or thereabouts. So two years of contraction followed by a whopping, what was it, 0.3% uh, expansion. 0.3% to most people is nothing. 0.3% is roughly 30 cents out of every hundred dollars. And that really isn't that much. It's nothing to be blowing up balloons over or having parties over, but to them, I suppose an expansion is better than a contraction. But people never look beneath the never look beneath the surface. And beneath the surface is the horror that is inflation. Now I must have made at least fifty videos about inflation. But in this case, it really is all about inflation. If you look at its nominal growth, and they will only ever refer to nom nominal growth, I'm not even, before I even talk about the changes in methodology by which uh, governments, central bankers calculate um, GDP growth, by which they like to fudge numbers, take out things that aren't growing and add things that are growing, well, you might as well just churn out any number and hope for the best. Before I get in, before I even talk about that, in fact, I, I'm not going to dwell too much into that, the number of 0.3% is absolutely nothing. And beneath the surface, you have to look at inflation. If you look at real GDP growth, if you have 0.3%, annualized growth. I don't even care if it's 0.3 for the quarter, which is 1.2% annualized. When you got inflation running at 5 or 10% a year, and you have growth of, I don't care if it's 0.3 or 1.2%, you're contracting. <laughs> you, you've got uh, inflation masquerading as growth. You're not out of a recession, a real recession. Okay, All you're talking about is nominal growth, which is fudged anyway. But it's not growth. It's all inflation pretending to be growth. It's masquerading as growth. And therefore, if you look at all the growth rates around the world, even China, even their whopping 7% growth, it's not growth. Everybody's contracting. And they've got every right to be contracting. Because the excess has formed in the past 10 years been so immense that all these excesses just have to be purged out of the system. And they're not. And the, you've got a lot of inflation which is stoking up um, all these um, excesses again you're just gonna have just a huge disaster you've got no growth and you can't have any growth until these excesses are out it's a simple concept the central bankers and policy makers 
don't policymakers don't get this you cannot have growth because you've had a huge boom your boom was so big I don't have any superlatives for it and now it's being deflated and in some aspects some asset classes have actually popped you can't keep on expanding at an exponential rate forever but yet you're trying to achieve that and the only way you're achieving that is by stirring up inflation and all your growth is inflation so it doesn't matter if you're in Australia and the GDP is I don't care if it's 1.9% or 2.5% or the RBA expects us to grow at 2.8% next year it doesn't matter when the true level of inflation is between 5 and 10% if not more you're contracting in terms of real numbers I mean nominal GDP can be anything it doesn't matter but it never takes into account the um, effects of inflation I mean most people here that don't even talk about the deflator <laughs> the whole concept of real GDP is never discussed it's always nominal because if countries looked at the real GDP we've been contracting for probably six years but you wouldn't know that because the uh, government want you to believe that there is growth if the government were to tell you that your, con that your economy is contracting year in year out for the past six years you're gonna vote them out and they don't want that they want to be re-elected they want the parties to just rule forever so therefore they have to lie to you so in Europe they've grown 0.3 percent but technically there's no growth and there won't be any growth for a long 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 time and the main reason why there won't be any growth is that they've acquired a lot of debt to fund their consumption which is non-existent in the first place everybody's broke so technically they want to have growth through government spending because government spending is a big part of GDP um, how long how long can this go on for well we'll let inflation decide